Well, at least 776 Palestinians have been killed in two weeks of Israeli shelling in the Gaza Strip. The latest casualties caused by an airstrike, we're told, at a UN school in Beit Hanun. At least 30 people have been killed and around 100 injured in that attack. Nicole Johnson joins us now live from Gaza. We're getting uh, grisly details coming through from Beit Hanun. What are you hearing, Nicole? That's right, Sammy. The information is still quite sketchy. We have a team there on the moment, so they're on their way there at the moment, so they'll be able to provide more information. But as you said, the reports are that some 30 people have been killed by tank shelling in the northern part of the Gaza Strip on this UNRWA school and that it could be 100 or more than 100 people injured. Now, we know that there are hundreds of people who have gone to these United Nations schools to try and get some kind of protection from the bombardment. Uh, people have left the eastern flank of the Gaza Strip as well as the north, and they've moved to around 70 different schools. Now, they go to these places because they think that they'll be safe. Some people don't go because they don't believe that anywhere is safe. And as it turns out, on this particular occasion at Beit Hanun, it seems that a United Nations school has been hit, and it's no longer a safe place for Palestinians to go to to try and escape the Israeli tank shelling. Now, the issue of UNRWA schools has been quite a sensitive one between both the United Nations and Israel. The UN has come out a couple of times during this conflict and said that it has found uh, rockets or weapons inside UN schools and that Palestinian groups should not or the factions should not be using them for these sorts of activities. But in this case, it seems that a a place that people thought was a safe haven, somewhere they could take their families. It turns out it hasn't been the case. Has, has there been any comment yet, Nicole, from Israeli authorities? No, at this stage we haven't had any confirmation from Israel about what took place. No doubt they'll be looking into this at the moment. If it is the, if it is the case, as it does appear to be. I mean, this would be a, a horrific kind of public relations blow for Israel, which is as much as possible trying to portray itself as conducting some kind of moral or just war on Gaza. Uh, Any time we've had these sorts of events that have really garnered international attention, Israel has had to take a step back and then try and justify itself, explain itself. The other two big occasions have been the four children who were killed on the beach in Gaza, just very close to where we are at the moment. And uh, there's also been attacks on hospitals that we know of. Five people were killed in a hospital at Deir al-Bala in the central part of the Gaza Strip. So Israel is coming under increasing criticism for these sorts of, be they mistakes or misfires or, I mean, unlikely to be a deliberate attack on a United Nations school. But it's going to be difficult for Israel to explain this one. Emergency services were, were struggling today to deal with the situation in Khoza. This must be adding even more of a strain to whatever resources are available there. That's right. Some good news, though, at least in the Hazar area, ambulance crews finally, after one or two days of bombardment there, were able to get into the central part of Hazar uh, to try and bring out injured people. They also brought out some seven bodies. Uh, they were able to spend quite a few hours in there. This is a wide agricultural area that's been heavily hit by tank shelling.